think I'm going to start. Okay, so welcome everybody. Now, as I said before, I'm here to have some me time moment and um, share that with you all. Just in case it's too loud. Okay. Let me know if it's too loud. If it's too loud, I may not post this video. Okay. So for today or tonight, it's about 722 right now in New York. So let's see. Today I wanted to basically do a watercolor study and also maybe go over some sketching exercises to just um, show you how um, this painting came to life. And hopefully you can uh, follow along. I also downloaded um, or have a link to the print of these, not these, but of this sketch that I'm going to show you in a little bit, so that you can just print it out and um, you put this as reference um, for any watercolor painting that you may want to do, or even, it doesn't need to be watercolor painting, it can be, um, you can use your color pencils or ink or anything that you may have. And you may also know that I'm right now um, I'm having a session, um, a pre-recorded session uh, at the All Souls Con. Um, and basically um, what I did was um, showcase uh, and go over a painting uh, with, with tea. And so yes, I had so much fun with that. So yeah, I guess you can also do a tea painting with this. But for today, it's going to be a watercolor study. And we're going to be swatching some uh, watercolors. One of my favorite ones that I got from Art Snacks. So let's see. from the beginning. As I mentioned you, um, these are my colors from Art Snacks. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Maybe not. I think that's okay. Um, so basically I got these on a watercolor subscription box that, that Art Snacks has. Um, and they basically um, tailor these little bags to have specific colors and the colors that I like are um, basically this one that is called Moon Glow and I also like their, um, this is, I forgot the name, color, Aztec Gold. Those two are my favorite colors. I also like the blue, but you're gonna see in a little bit um, how it looks. The green is also beautiful. Um, the purple. Actually, this whole set of colors are very vibrant and each of them have their own charm. And they also um, have uh, the pigments, the, um, I don't know how to explain this. Um, I may mean, actually show you how the pigment the pigments work. Um, especially for Moon Glow, um, you may have seen that on the watercolor painting that I did for my other Felicita dress inspired by the Instagram. Um, but yes, so we have six colors over here, and this is how we're gonna. What I wanna do is swatch them first. 
then you should be able to swatch. Um, I use like um, the doors from other watercolor paintings that I do. What I basically do is um, either either sketch a watercolor painting, usually on a, a five by seven watercolor sheet. And then, uh, since I cut uh, to that size, you know, sometimes I have leftovers, so uh, I use those to to actually uh, use them as my watercolor uh, for my watercolor swatches, so I can see how the colors uh, look and how they behave on this specific paper. Now, the paper that I usually use is uh, from Canson. It's actually very economical. Um, it's mostly like a student grade. Uh, it's still 300 GSM, um, cotton, watercolor, cotton watercolor paper. Um, it's not a uh, professional watercolor like um, arches, for example. However, I, every time that I paint, I always come back to this. I have almost every single watercolor paper out there, um, but I always go back to this one. Uh, I just like how the color, um, the watercolor uh, runs into the paper and how um, it, should, it, I don't know, it just shows better. Uh, maybe I just got used to it. I don't know. But um, so what we're gonna do is swatch. Like we're gonna do something like this here, so you guys can see how they behave like. Uh, and then after that we're going to pick three colors and then I'm going to show you how I sketched um, this painting here. Okay. So let me bring you closer to And obviously, um, I already have water. I usually do use two little buckets of water. Uh, one to clean my brush, and then the other one to actually pick clean water so that uh, the colors don't mix with each other. Um, I, do, I, I do that most of the time, but not all the time, sometimes. Um, it depends on the project and I guess what I'm doing. Um, sometimes I don't I mix the colors, but again, you know, it depends on the on the um, nature of the product. Now, um, I'm just gonna pick from here. Um, I do have a palette. Um, use my palette. I was using these for um, I forgot what product. Okay. Oh, I don't know if you guys see my um, Baby Yoda uh, painting uh, session also on YouTube. Um, so the, these are the colors that I use for. I did four versions: one with watercolor, one with wash, wash, and then one with Posca paint markers, and then one with watercolor markers. It was really fun to work on that. Okay, actually, I may have a space for all of them. I just don't want to waste it, so I think I'm just gonna pick from <clears throat> from the tubes, straight from the tubes. Uh, as for brushes, for now, I actually maybe will be the bigger brush. I sometimes use like a flat brush, which I don't have right now here, but, but I think I'm gonna go with my number. <clears throat> This is a Okay, so let me use This is probably a cold. So basically what I'm just gonna do. Just so that I don't waste paint. I'm just gonna show you how they behave. Maybe you can see this. 
So that's the Aztec bowl. Okay, so I'm going to use this one to clean. And this one to roll my, uh, my brush with clean one. I also have this very, this is not old, it's actually new. I got this part recently. Okay, not recently, maybe. So this was part of the collection collection by Paper Fashion. I don't know if you can see her logo there. So basically it's like a um, cloth towel that I just used to, to dry my brushes. Or clean my brushes. Okay, so let's clean now. So the brush with clean water and I'm gonna put some down. This is called Actually, has a um, other watercolor. Um, um, brands um, sell sets um, so that uh, you know you can kind of have like a um, preset color palette. I also like how this green um, it has a name. I'm just gonna try to talk. Set on the paper, and actually, right now it's drawing, and like it starts with this. I don't know if you can see that green color over right here, it's like a forest green, and then that when it hits the paper, um, it breaks into that green, which is you know, like a dark forest green, and then it breaks down to hues um, of blue, turquoise, or brown. Love that. You can be able to see that um, reaction with the paper here and then here. And this is why I do it as the other ones. This is why these ones are so favorite because of how the pigment behaves on the paper. Okay, so 
well as um, Cascade Green. This is one of the colors that I'm going to use for the dress, for the dresses that I'm going to show you. Okay. And the funny part is that this color behaves differently every time. Like, um, I guess it depends on what, how much of the pigment that reacts uh, that reacts a certain way you get from the two. Um, how can I this? Oh this is one okay so basically I cannot grab that pigment where similar to this color so it starts with this kind of uh, dark purple and then there is something in the formula of the pigment that breaks down into shades of blue and and a little bit of black and a little bit of purple. So when it dries, you have like this beautiful textures. I just love it. That's my favorite color right now. Swatch the imperial purple, and this is actually a purple purple. And I think this one also breaks down a little bit, but it's not as obvious. This you can see a little bit of um, pink um, in some sections. It also depends on how much water and how much of paint you use. You see. And there, there is actually even a little bit of blue now that I see it here. There's blue, pinks, and shades of purple. But definitely purple it's the it's the main uh, color. Space, so I'm gonna grab a little bit of the sheet. This sheet on here. And I'm going to Oh, we just get a text from this one. A very dear friend of mine who was, who was trying to watch the live stream. I hope I gave the correct live stream link. Let me try to see if I actually said the right the right um, link. Okay. 
this on TV. Uh, just let me see my screen. Okay, so let me show before I finish this one. So they are drying right now. Um, I have like um, a little view of what I'm doing right now. My thing on my mat right next to me. So I'm looking at my side, but it's the opposite of what it is. So it's a little hard to the mirror image. But yes, um, I'm gonna show you. So as you can see here, the mula. You see how. Okay, my hands are trembling, so I'm just gonna be easier like that. So the Mongo watercolor uh, is actually it's almost dry, and you can see all the color pigment um, is reacting with the paper and it's giving you those shades of dark purple and light purple and a bit of pink. Um, dark blues and even a little bit of black, I could say. Um, and then here, uh, you see pinks and purples, and it's just beautiful. And here, the green one, it actually, uh, you can see these like little sections of green, it's actually kind of gold green. This one doesn't have that pigmentation, and this one does definitely shine. It shines more uh, in the camera uh, when you see this as a video. It doesn't show what it kind of shows like that, but you have to tilt it to see what I see right now. What you see right now on the camera. Okay, so those are the five colors. I'm gonna swatch quickly in the last color. I'm gonna put this one there. So it doesn't go to waste. Okay, now I can use it for a So <clears throat> this is also beautiful. I, I I use this set for my you, you may have seen this on my Instagram uh, for my art is magic um, little collection which I'm about to draw a little. I have other pieces I want to share with you before we start update. Um, but yeah, so this is basically the same that I use and I really love. Even though this doesn't behave like the moon glow or cascade this cascade green, this magenta is called Queen Magenta. Um, it's a beautiful magenta color. Okay, so we have all the colors here right now. It's drying. You may not be able to see. Okay, that's the end. That's what I see. So now we have all of these colors here. So what I'm thinking of doing is, I also have the colors here. Um, swatched previously. Um, so for the dress, I'm going to, for the dresses, I'm going to use, I wish I could have yours here so you guys can help me decide. But I think I'm going to do a gold, um, a green, and this blue. Just because I only used these before for my other um, Elizabethan dress, 
And I have already a reddish dress, even though I also have a green. But I want to see how it behaves, just because it's because of how the color um, showcases here. Should I do that? Yes, okay. So, now, let me bring back the this here to dry. Bring back the, uh, the painting, the original painting um, that I did, I think, on 2019. I don't remember when exactly, but this is an art print that I have. It is my first, the first time I, that I actually attempted to um, illustrate and paint uh, in an Elizabethan dress. This I think I put together before. I don't know if you guys seen the the, the gold dress that um Teresa wore during the one of the season three sneak peeks. She had like a gold dress, and then when I saw it, I was like, oh my goodness, it looks like my dress. But this dress I was actually inspired by a movie. With Kate Wensley, I cannot pronounce her name, but she played um, Queen Elizabeth. And she actually had like a dress like this with this little, little but with this color. And, um, so it was based on that, and then um, I think even the the hairstyle was based on that. And then what I did I was inspired by. I discovered witches the TV show and um, Shadow, of, uh, Shadow of Night, the book was, um, or you know, like the whole work played by that you know, was basically this um, pattern of the moon and the sun. Um, so basically, that that was um, inspired by by that by them. And then um, so there's like a little necklace over here, and I think that's an arrow. Maybe it was an arrow, or maybe I think it's a moon actually. Or a crescent moon. But yes, okay, so this is what I'm gonna use as a the reference for, um, for what I'm gonna show you right now. So hopefully, I have enough space. Um, if anybody's here, please send me. A, ch uh, a comment on the chat room. I really want to know if I'm too loud. So basically, what I want to go over is how I actually sketch this. Dress. And I just want to show you like um, some sketching like that I did. Um, this is one and this is the other. Over here. The angle of the camera. Okay. So this is closest to the dress that I just showed you. I was playing like with the uh, how I'm going to put together the printout that I'm about to show you. But before I show you the printout, I want to show you like a little bit the technique that I use to to put this um, uh, the illustration for um, for my Elizabethan dress. So let me grab this. This is just like plain paper. Um, okay, let's see. Let me move the camera a little bit. My brush is on the way. Okay, that's a little better. Let me see if I can tilt this so that I can have a better angle. Much better. Okay, so I have to get this way. So, 
I usually start with the head. So it's just a normal. And then mm, by the way, this is just a thing. Okay, let's see this. Preliminary sketch. And actually I use this technique for most of my drawings or sketches or anything that I put together. Like um I start with uh, shapes like you know, like a oval shape, a rectangle, and then a bit here for the torso. In this case, for you know, like I, I did a little bit of research. Uh, Elizabethan dresses have like a heart shape type of uh, situation going on here, so uh, I use the um, reverse triangle here for that, and then for the uh, actual dress, I just do. Uh, Hold the scene, everything, and then um, and I try to do my best to do the same here. Um, okay, I'm gonna lower the muscle. Thank you, thank you for the feedback. Um, let me see if I can lower Is that better? That's better. Let the, the background music. I have my ears and how do you with the sound? Okay, he may be the only one here, but that's fine. Um, what was I saying? Okay, so I tried to my best to do the mirror image of like that and then um, just close your dress over here. Oh, actually, let me see that. So, and then for the hands, <clears throat> I usually just tend to either have them um, kind of like going like that, and okay, that's too, you know, like, um, that's too far away. <laughs> Basically, what I'd like to do is, okay, that's better. Um, another tackle, and then another tackle here. That kind of closes, and then the hand over here. So, you know, do the same thing here. And the hand. I'm so bad with hands, so I'm just like roughly sketching the hand here. But basically, that. Or you can also do the, the other, like with the hands closing here. Like in my sketch, like in my illustration, original illustration, which is right here. And in this case, I have her holding um, a book. Um, she can be holding, holding flowers, maybe a cat. And then um, for the hair, I usually do a I'm call this eye. And then, um, um, let's say she, I can do a bun over here. And then, if I want to add ears, they have to be tiny. And then, so you can add maybe uh, earrings. And then, um, you can play with the shape of the face. So, I started like this. And then you can make it a little more angular here. 
Can also make it so that uh, okay, so that's mm -hmm. the hair. You can also make it so that um, maybe your hair is a little loose, right? Or um, maybe your hair is. Um, A few here, but, and then a few like that over here. Can you see that? Yeah. Um, yeah. So this, this is basically my base. Okay. And then what I did also. And basically what I do after you know playing with my sketches and then I roughly you know decide of you know what to do in terms of details like you know like in this case this uh, like the, the shape of the neck line over here it can also be um, more circular um, so you can you, know, you can play and for um for you guys I prepared um, kind of like a template of the main shapes of that my Elizabeth dress over with the hands in this position. So I have three over here which I'm going to be one coloring. And if you notice over here I actually um my puppy I actually um, let these um, open just so that uh, we can play with the design of um, of the dress of you know of how it's going to look here on the front. I also didn't do the hair or anything here. Um, just so that we can um, play with it. Now, for reference, I did get some books, and this is one of them. Um, the Eye of the Tiger. This one. So, you know that? It's my alarm. So, this is a um, reference book, and I think this is for plays, like for theater. Um, Elizabethan costume design and construction. So, let's see if I can open it. I'm going to pick some reference. references over here. There are some sketches here. You can see over here the details that you can actually have on the dress. Since my um, sketches are, or illustrations are usually very small, I don't get to do all of that. I mean, I could, but maybe if I sketch and three bigger dresses, or maybe not, I guess. I really like this sketch over here. Oh, do you see this? I didn't notice. Is this a, is this a Elizabethan dress? Oh, it's a reproduction drawing of contemporary fashion inspired by Mary's gowns. And I think in this book, they go over the gowns that. Um, Mary and that uh, Elizabeth uh, wore during the other time, uh, and you know, how different they were. Um, I really like this. Look at the neck. Neck line over here. Oh, look at this. I, I, I. I, I checked this look before and I don't know how I need that. And I love corsets too. I used to actually love corsets. No, I like these ones. Okay. I really like this neck. Like, um, drilled here and the sleeves over here, how really they are over here. I don't know if I can do that though with my sketches, but let's see. Um, 
sure that is ready. Some other sketches over here, also the watercolor paint. They use watercolor painting over here. Over here. I love the cape. I mean, the cape. I mean, I like how they have like the little ruffle here and then how there are like two different types of fabric here. Actually, go over the construction of a corset and a little bit about um, the bum roll and the corset and then the, the ruffles, removable ruff and removable risk in the petticoat. And then the last reference. Well, this because they love um how do you call this? Lace, lace. I love lace. I used to wear also a lot of lace, most of the time. Black, that's my color. That used to be my. Well, I still wear all black. Black is not color, but okay. Let's go. Okay. Uh, let me go back to that. I really want to recreate that dress. This one. <coughs> Also include the link um, the description below. Okay, so I'm gonna just do it first with oh, let me bring you closer. I'm just gonna do the, the, the preliminary sketch with my pencil. Um, so she basically has a little ruffle thing here and then she doesn't have this, but it's okay, we can play with it. Okay, so, and then for the hair, I may just do one 
And I like painting these glasses because yeah. well, to me they are very simple to paint. As you can see, since I already have this sketch and um, a pretty German um, design, the only thing that I have is to is paint over it and just relax and have fun and then enjoy the the experience of seeing the colors, the watercolors, you know, do their job. So I'm trying to create let me with the camera a little bit because so that I can paint So I'm trying to create some texture here. See how, like, every time I pass with the brush and the color, how the color change and it's because of you know how the nature of the pigment in this um, specific color. But for this section, I will switch actually to my number four from brush. Let's see how many of our controls we have. I'm trying to kind of follow the pattern that I use there. Another way that you can do this, but uh, it takes longer. It's by covering these sections, the uh, arms, with masking tape. So you can actually just go from here and you know, straight, and then once the masking tape and the watercolor <coughs> dry, you can just take the masking tape up. Which is also fun too. To do. I don't know if I should do another pass because I really like what I'm seeing over here. Okay, I'm just just leave it like that. And these, like in the sketch, my reference sketch, I'm just gonna. It's not gonna have that much. Um, Okay. 
Because you want the silver to stand out. the neck I think I'm just gonna have both have it the same color and then uh, play with the trim notes I mean the silver trim notes and this one has to be dark just so that uh, you can so that you know we hide the the illustration I mean the, the line that we had there before and that was part of the neck Let's start, and then I'm going to wait for the barcode to paint, to paint and to, to dry these. It's gonna dry. I can use the color, the you know the, the little dot that is there for later for the paintings. So that doesn't go to waste. Um, now while that dries, I'm going to. Where is my... Oh, this is the hair. For the hair, I think I'm going to use the gold. Should I use the gold? Do I have... Hold on. Let me use the... This gold color over here. And I'm doing this... Color hair just because again is is inspired by um, Diana. Sorry, I love this cover. I just in this case, you want to see the. See the the line of the head a little bit more. 
and you can look here. For that other print out, so I'm going to not include this part of the head. So, so you know, that's like the essential. Um, okay, so that's that, and then I'm going to. I can't find my. You know, I think I'm just gonna use my color pencil. Recycle colored pencil in the color. I was gonna say the color name, but kind of like a peach color. Number three. Oh no, pretty. That's that. It's almost dry. I'm gonna show you the. this silver and this gold um, <clears throat> fine pens by Sakura. I don't know if I should do gold or silver. Let's test it out here. So, um, my friends 
from the New York City Conventical have a question on what code I'm using here. So um, just to give you a background, um, I color swatch the um, one of my favorite color sets from Daniel Smith. So I'm using this green, which is called um, Cascade Green. And, um, and the reason why I picked it was because of how um, it basically has different um, shades of, um, when it dries, it, you, know, you can see different shades of green and even some turquoise and blues and a little bit of gold um, treatments there. I don't know if you can see that. And now we're waiting to for it to dry. It's almost dry. Wow, oh, it looks so nice. Look at that. Okay, um, so I'm trying to decide if I should use the, the gold or the silver marker. Any preferences? If anybody's here still, uh, I test it out over here, and this is how they look. I mix the silver and the gold. What is the music? <clears throat> Any preferences? Gold or silver? is inspired by a sketch that I saw in this book um, called, uh, the name of the book is Elizabeth Casting the Design and Construction by Ellen BC one uh, and Kelsey Hunt and Emily Holm uh, and it's basically uh, a sketch I think it's like a reference also that they found I don't think it's their sketch or maybe it's their sketch. But basically it's um, um, a reproduction drawing of contemporary fashion inspired by Mary's gown silhouette design.
too late, Marek. I picked silver. Did I say silver? No, I picked gold. Sorry. Is this gold? I think so. Yeah. He used to miss me more, but now he misses me more. I used to be the one far away, I mean, he used to work far away, and he barely saw me. Um, so every time I used to come home, he would like. Yeah, and he made the kisses. And now, the one who gets the attention is the husband because he's, we both work at home, but he's the one who travels the most now. The one, not now. Before everything. And so I think our puppy is all coming from separate instruments. Okay, I am trying to make it so that you guys can see the gold pattern better. So again, this is the flat floral. It's like a floral pa pattern. <coughs> And it's not that color that the dress is you know, this color. The angle that I'm seeing things in the camera is like running from the face. And you can see really bad. Hopefully, this is trying okay. I'm a very random person who works when I do anything. Thank you. 
If YouTube allows me, I can be over here. I'm having too much fun here. Better my kids are Put me out after a certain moment. This is still going oh, away right over here, so I'm just going to leave that there. Um, I think for teams, I'm just going to leave it that. Um, okay. Now for the hair. to do the uh, the one that doesn't have like that has the, the, the shoulders on cover. Mm -hmm. Let me do the blue one. Let me show you the, the sketch. The reference. Said I'm gonna do the I'm gonna use the phalo blue or phalo blue. And I'm going to use the same paper that I use for my green as my palette. It's basically this blue. blue. This blue. Let me just see the for that one. So I'm gonna put a little bit of paint. Here. Oh no, that's too much. Okay. 
purposely then the show is um, and then this is this has to remind me like a sketch that I made from my tone media series which I still have to finish because I'm taking a break from that show that but maybe I can do these treatments in silver so that you can see. Now for this I'm going to get my that I use for um, skin tones. Well, one of the skin, like light skin tones and under is like oh, other shades over there. So I'm gonna carefully sketch. Oh, uh, so you're going to take that. Let me just do this as a reference so they won't like, pass with the silver. I can see it. And then since she has the shoulders on cover. I may. That's my stomach. I need to be fed. Oh no. I can mix it up. I'm going to keep the paper here. I don't want to make any more messes. Gold. 
it's not for us. We may be actually named God. It's a pretty. Sleeps. 
thinking of making this sky transparent in this darker. Let's see. So do is usually take a I scan it or I take a picture of this and then I clean it with Photoshop. Let's say you want to sell because I, or, you know, give something like I, I actually need a princess dress for my little niece for her birthday last year. It was a graduation, I think. It was for her graduation. Yes, so I obviously. Okay. 
Let me make it quicker in this area because I don't think you can see it there. But it's not so dark, and now it's looking darker because obviously I put a lot of paint back. Again, I want to see your treatments to show. Okay, so much better. Okay, so for this section, I said that I wanted to make it a little more transparent, like uh, so that it looks like uh, very cool. Base. Okay. Now she has to dry. I said I'm gonna do the silver treatments and I think this is gonna be my last painting. Just because I'm taking two. And oops. let's see how it looks and uh swatch. Patterns because they are very sketchy. Thank you. 
I can have that stick here. More, can I say this bit? More stars here in the, on the top and then kind of like it. Let me do it. So you know what I'm doing. Ah, it's too thick. I'm gonna give this one to my little nose. I also made another one like this, but in blue. And this actually reminds me of a dress that she had when she was doing. And it was like, um, I think it was a white dress with black, or black dress with silver, or white. It was white with black. That's that I've been you know, like, kind of like, they had this part. with this. Yeah. Look at that. My little blue lady. Isn't she beautiful? Thank you so much if you join me today. I have two Elizabethan inspired dresses. Um, also inspired by Diana. And the magical work created by them, they were heartless. I love them. Wow, so beautiful. Thank you, everybody. Um, I hope you enjoy this. Um, I may paint another one, the third one on Instagram, uh, depending on how the night goes. I'm like charged right now with a lot of um, good vibes and positive thoughts. So thank you again. Um, it was very, very, uh, very nice to do. I 
post this later. Uh, let me know if you have any questions, post it on the comments below. Thanks again and wishing you the best. Sending you all my love and big bear hugs. Uh, good night.